Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will show you how to determine the maximum stresses in a concrete beam and the steel reinforcing rods. All beams subjected to pure bending must resist both tensile and compressive stresses. Concrete, however, is very susceptible to cracking when it is in tension, and therefore by itself, it will not be suitable for resisting a bending moment. In order to circumvent this shortcoming, engineers place steel reinforcing rods within a concrete beam at a location where the concrete is in tension. To be most effective, these rods are located farthest from the beam's neutral axis, so that the moment created by the forces developed in them is greatest about the neutral axis. Furthermore, the rods are required to have some concrete coverage to protect them from corrosion or loss of strength in the event of a fire. Codes used for actual reinforced concrete design assume the concrete will not be able to support any tensile loading, since the possible cracking of concrete is unpredictable. As a result, the normal stress distribution acting on the cross sectional area of a reinforced concrete beam is assumed to look like this. The stress analysis requires locating the neutral axis and determining the maximum stress in the steel and concrete. To do this, the area of steel is first transformed into an equivalent area of concrete using the transformation factor, Young's modulus of steel, divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete. This ratio, which gives n greater than 1, requires a greater amount of concrete to replace the steel. The transformed area is n times the area of steel. Here, d represents the distance from the top of the beam to the thin strip of transformed steel. b is the beam's width, and h dash is the yet unknown distance from the top of the beam to the neutral axis. To obtain h dash, we require the neutral axis to pass through the centroid c of the cross sectional area of the transformed section. With reference to the neutral axis, therefore, the moment of the two areas together must be zero, since y bar equals zero. Thus, b times h dash, times half h dash, minus n times the area of steel, times d minus h dash, equals zero. Once h dash is obtained from this quadratic equation, the solution proceeds in the usual manner for obtaining the stress in the beam. Let's take a worked example. We have a reinforced concrete beam with a width of 300 mm and a depth of 450 mm, 50 mm concrete cover. If the beam is subjected to a 60 kN meter bending moment, we need to determine the normal stress in each of the steel reinforcing rods and the maximum normal stress in the concrete. We will consider the Young's modulus of steel to be 200 gigapascals, and the modulus of elasticity of concrete to be 25 gigapascals. First, we will work out the total area of steel, which equals 2 times pi, times the bar diameters 25 millimeters, divided by 1000 squared, divided by 4. This gives us a value of 0.3125 pi times 10 to the power of minus 3 square meters. This area will be transformed into an equivalent area of concrete. As we mentioned earlier, equivalent area of concrete would be Young's modulus of steel 200 gigapascals, divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete 25 gigapascals, times the total area of steel 0.3125 pi times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters squared. This results in a value of 2.5 pi, times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters squared. We require the centroid to lie on the neutral axis. Thus, 0.3 meters times h dash, times half h dash, minus 2.5 pi, times 10 to the power of minus 3, times 0.4, minus h dash. Solving for the positive root, we get h dash 0.1209 meter. Using this value for h dash, 
the moment of inertia of the transformed section about the neutral axis is 1, divided by 12, times 0.3 meters, times 0.1209 meters to 3, plus 0.3, times 0.1209, times half 0.1209 squared, plus 2.5 pi, times 10 to the power of minus 3, times 0.2791 squared. This gives us a value of 788.52, times 10 to minus 6 meters to 4. We should now be able to obtain our stresses. Applying the flexure formula to the transformed section, the maximum normal stress in the concrete is 60 kilonewtons meters, times 1000 to convert it to newton meters, times 0.1209 meters, divided by the moment of inertia, 788.52, times 10 to minus 6 meter to 4. This results in a value of 9.2 newtons per square millimeters. Next, the normal stress resisted by the concrete strip that replaced the steel is 60 kilonewtons meters, times 1000, times 0.2791, divided by the moment of inertia, 788.52, times 10 to minus 6 meter to 4. This gives us a value of 21.24 newtons per square millimeters. Therefore, the normal stress in each of the two reinforcing rods is 200, divided by 25, times 21.24, giving us a value of 170 newtons per square millimeters. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.